This is a mini projector. <laughs> It's the Unic P09 mini projector. It's actually a Android TV box and a DLP projector all in one. So why would one use one of these in the first place? Well, many reasons. You could use it if, if you have a business meeting and you want to project your project onto the wall. Well, you could use this. It's got USB inputs, so you could plug your USB adapter into it or your USB dongle and whatever files are on that dongle, you can actually project them onto the screen, so it works for that. But, like me, if you have a small house but you want a large TV, well, this could do the job. You could have a screen up to 120 inches, but I think 84 inches is probably as big as you really want to get with this particular one. I'm sure some other mini projectors might go slightly larger and the image quality will not deteriorate but certainly um, 84 inches with this particular one the unic p09 you know you don't really want to go above um, 84 inches now you've got to be careful with the screen that you use it, it will work you know it will even project onto a wall or a white screen but the image will be somewhat washed out and you really want to go for a grey reflective screen. The um, image quality will be much more sharper and almost TV-like, if not better than some cheap TVs, okay? And it will be 84 inches. Um, sound quality, sound quality out of the unit is not really good. Um, I found it quite tinny and it was annoying and I wasn't really getting that cinema effect. So I upgraded to um, a set of Bluetooth speakers which you could connect to it I would recommend something like a boombox like the JBL boombox um, you'll certainly get the cinema effect a little bit because you'll have the bass so that will certainly help it comes with a cheap Wi-Fi air mouse I'd recommend you get rid of that it's, it's not um, fit for purpose you're better off with a wireless keyboard with a touchpad this does a much better job and it's much more easy because you have a keyboard you can actually type in things into the actual search box as opposed to going on to the on-screen keyboard and scrolling across clicking seeing and scrolling back and clicking another letter it's just a lot more difficult so using one of these would make life a lot more easier so if you really want to um, get the most out of your projector use something like this and get yourself a set of Bluetooth speakers and a grey screen and it will perform really well with regards to its actual features, um, externally you have two USB inputs, you have a HDMI input, a 3.5mm um, jack for your headset, you know you might not use your Bluetooth speakers and you might just have a Bluetooth headset, that would be also be ideal. Um, construction wise, it's got aluminium casing and it's sandwiched in between two plastic plates okay the construction is premium it's good it could project 4k images onto the wall where you project the screen but they won't be 4k it's going to probably be um 1080 hd it's it's not bad it, it, it does the job I'm, I'm happy with it providing you use your um bluetooth speakers it, it does a good job especially if you're using a gray screen um it's two gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigs of storage in this particular one that I've got and it's running a quad-core processor with Android 9. Let's take a look and see what the images look this like. This is a 84 inch grey screen which I made. The actual fabric you could buy separately. Um, the um, frame, the black frame is basically wood it's basically the same wood that you use on the uh, doorstop. We're going to switch the projector on and see what it looks like in broad daylight. And the actual screen is right by a window. If I 
rotate so you can see the screen is right by the window and I'm going to switch the projector on in a moment and let you guys see what the actual image looks like. It takes a bit of time to get starting but there you go. This is in broad daylight you can see the window right there. So let's look around on the actual screen here, on the home screen and see what we have. So over on the left you have App Center. This basically contains all the apps which you've downloaded. You have a browser here, got files date and time, whatever's plugged into HDMI. Here you've got some mirror, mirroring apps here where you can mirror things, AirPlay and eShare. You've got your settings, internet, Bluetooth, language, date and time, what are you about? I'll just click on there, you guys can take a look. Uh, your storage and your RAM. The settings and I'm just using my air mouse my keyboard air mouse just to scroll through all this it's much easier than using the factory remote control this is just the audio level it's a shame it would have actually been better if they would have allowed you to have bass treble and mid mids there so you can actually control it like an equalizer that would have been much better but you would do probably download an app for that Got projector setting Got keystone settings auto rotate projector mode and brightness the brightness is on max let's reduce it and see what it looks like so that's on minimum it's not really that much of a difference to be honest with you might look a little bit different when um, viewed on the phone, I don't know. So, I'm gonna click on YouTube. Okay. This is in broad daylight. See what the screen looks like. It's right by the window in broad daylight. I'm gonna go ahead and close the curtain so you can see what the image quality looks like. I'll just let the actual presentation start up and um, give you a better idea. Okay, as you can see, it's a nice clear picture during the day. Okay, let me close the curtain. curtains being pulled as you can see there's still a little bit of light going through but the curtains being pulled it hasn't been blacked out I would say that's a pretty good image now don't forget this image is on a gray screen if you was using a white screen or projecting onto the wall it wouldn't look anything like that that's a 4k video you're viewing but it's been projected in um, 1080 HD. Just to give you a good idea, this particular video was filmed at night. So we're looking at a dark video here. one now it is important 
that when using a grey screen you have the projector um, I would say directly in front of the screen uh, or at eye level so wherever you're sitting trying to have the projector you know at eye level or directly in front of the screen because you have like a 30 degree viewing angle you know um, if you're slightly to the left of the screen or above the screen it's gonna get a little bit darker this is because it's using you're using a gray screen you won't get this as much if you're using a um, white screen or projecting onto a wall but it's just a, um, a byproduct of using a gray reflective screen um, you're definitely going to enjoy your viewing experience a lot more with a gray screen with a mini projector purely because they're not as bright as larger projectors so definitely get a gray screen if you want to enjoy your viewing if you want to make your viewing experience a lot better um, they're not they're not expensive the material for this screen that you're looking at an 8, 84 inch screen there the wood was about you know the wooden frame going around the actual screen was about 18 pound the paint was about 10 pound and the actual screen itself the actual material was only 12 pounds so you're not exactly going to break the bank and you're getting a 34 inch, i mean an 84 inch display let's um i think what i'll do now is just show you some close-up images of the actual projector itself and uh, give you a better idea of um what it actually looks like and what you're going to actually get but overall i'm happy with this at night it's a beautiful image it really is cinema quality and um, with a nice audio system you know with some nice subwoofers so you can feel the bass and equalization you'll get a really good experience i think for the money you know you can't go wrong this 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 unit here set me back about 160 pounds okay that's with the larger RAM and the larger internal storage. So anyway, let's go and take a look at some um, close-up images now. Okay, what did you think? Hope you enjoyed the uh, little review and you liked my comparisons. Next week we're going to be looking at um, comparing grey screens to the white screen and how the projector um, projected on the wall just to show you guys the difference so stay tuned for that. Um, in future videos I'm also going to be reviewing this um, wireless keyboard and touchpad it's the h20 i'm gonna see how it compares to the other wireless mouse that i was actually using what i like about this is it actually has a on and off button so there's no need to actually have the app on the um, projector so stay tuned and um, if you enjoyed the video like always please like and subscribe it helps me and in return i'll help you guys by making more reviews realistic reviews um Everything that's reviewed on this channel is financed by myself, so please like and subscribe and help me out and I will help you guys too. Thanks, thanks for watching. Perfect! Perfect.